Skeletal Muscle Each skeletal muscle is an organ made up of skeletal muscle fibers, connective tissue coverings, blood vessels, and nerve fibers. Structure of a skeletal muscle Connective tissue coverings Each muscle fiber of the skeletal muscle is wrapped in a thin, delicate layer of connective tissue called endomysium. Many muscle fibers are bundled together into groups called fascicles. Each fascicle is wrapped in a second layer of connective tissue made of collagen called perimysium. Many fascicles are bundled together to form a skeletal muscle. Each skeletal muscle is covered by a third layer of dense fibrous connective tissue called epimysium. Each skeletal muscle is then covered by a fourth, very tough fibrous layer of connective tissue called deep fascia. The deep fascia may extend past the length of the muscle and attach that muscle to a bone, cartilage, or muscle. Skeletal Muscle Fibers A muscle fiber is a long, thin cell. Each muscle fiber is composed of myofibrils. Each myofibril is composed of two protein filaments. Thick filaments are primarily composed of the protein myosin. They have a rod-like tail that terminates into two globular heads or cross bridges. These cross bridges interact with active sites on thin filaments. Thin filaments, which are primarily composed of the protein actin. They are coiled helical structures that resemble twisted strands of pearls. Tropomycin is the rod-shaped protein spiraling around the backbone of actin to stabilize it. Troponin is a complex of polypeptides. One binds to actin, one that binds to tropomycin, and one that binds to calcium ions. Both tropomycin and troponin help control actin's interaction with myosin during contraction. Striations are caused by the arrangement of thick and thin filaments within the myofibrils. A band also known as dark area in which there is overlapping of thick and thin filaments. I-band, also known as light area, has thin filaments alone. The length of each myofibril is divided into sarcomeres. Sarcomeres meet one another at an area called the Z-line. Within the sarcoplasm of a muscle fiber, there are two specialized membranous organelles sarcoplasmic reticulum. It is a network of membranous channels that surrounds each myofibril and runs parallel to it. It is the same as endoplasmic reticulum in other cells. Sarcoplasmic reticulum has a high concentration of calcium ions compared to the sarcoplasm which is maintained by active transport calcium pump. When stimulated by muscle impulse, membranes become more permeable to calcium ions and calcium diffuses out of the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the sarcoplasm. Transverse tubules. They are a set of membranous channels that extend into the sarcoplasm as invaginations continuous with muscle cell membrane, the sarcolemma. Transverse tubules are filled with extracellular fluid and extend deep into the cell. Each transverse tubule runs between two enlarged portions of sarcoplasmic reticulum called cisternae. These structures form a triad near the region where actin and myosin overlap. Sarcoplasmic reticulum and transverse tubules are involved in activating the muscle contraction mechanism. Because one transverse tubule is associated with two sarcoplasmic reticulum, they are termed as the triad.